today we are going to have fun with pronunciation. I'm going to show you fun and effective ways that you can teach English pronunciation in your classroom tomorrow. And you can play them at home too. So let's go. <laughs> Deirdre Nicholas from Palm Tree Teaching TV, teacher, speaker and your personal English language coach. Learning and understanding English pronunciation is essential for English students. But pronunciation exercises in books can get really boring, can't they? Would you like some new ideas on how to present pronunciation in the classroom in a fun way? If so, this video will be perfect for you. I'm going to share with you pronunciation games that you can do in class if you're an English teacher or play at home if you have some friends coming round to see you. Now pronunciation has traditionally not been taught as much in class as say grammar and vocabulary. So these games will integrate pronunciation into your lessons in a fun way as well as being effective. Now, these games will help you and your students to be able to hear the difference between the correct sound and the incorrect sound. Also to make the correct sound and to help to recognise how to make the correct sound. So, without further ado, let's get started with my very first pronunciation game. Number one, rhyming pair game. Now, this game is a pronunciation and a memory game which works best if you divide your class into small groups or, as a learner, do it with a couple of friends at home. So you'll need to produce a set of cards for each group with one word on each card. The sets of cards should be made up of rhyming pairs of words. For example, you could have a card saying mouse, a card saying house, or die, cry, cook, book, wheat, sheet. Players place all the cards down, face down, on the table. Then the first player turns over two cards. They say the words on the cards out loud to perfect their pronunciation and then they say if they rhyme. Now if they do and they say the words correctly, they get to keep the cards. If the words don't rhyme, they put the cards back down on the table face down and then the next player does the same. Now the winner is the one with the most cards at the end of the game. Now this may need some monitoring from you as the teacher of course, and if you have a really large class, get a small group to the front to demonstrate in front of the others. Of course, if you're doing this with a group of friends at home, you need to nominate one person to be judge to see if the pronunciation is right, but try not to argue too much. Now this is really useful for learners to see that words can have a similar pronunciation although their spelling is different. Now if you and your friend or your class are more advanced learners of course you can change the words to more advanced things such as square, air, poor, store, lake, break, some, thumb. So you can even do this with homophones. So words, you know, that have the same sound but a different spelling, such as some, some, through, through, so, so, pair, pair, and so on. And the other great thing about this game is that it can be used for many levels of learners, beginners, intermediates, or advanced, depending on the words you choose. Now another great pronunciation game, which is just as easy to do at home with friends or with your class as a teacher, is the tongue twister game. Now this can work well as a warmer as well and help students to pronounce difficult sounds in English. What you do is you write on the board some tongue twisters containing sounds that your students find particularly difficult. It might be the r and the l, for example. So, lucky radio listeners rarely lose long letters. Or it could be th and t. So, for example, tomorrow is the third Thursday of this month. Or even ch and sh. So, I went to the beach to teach 
at the car wash for cash. Now you could even divide your class into teams and turn this into a competition. Each team nominates a speaker to come to the front of the class and they have to say the tongue twister out loud. Now if it's correct, their team gets a point. Then they have to say it again but faster. Again getting a point if it's correct and so on, getting faster and faster. So the team with the most points at the end of the game wins. So at home, on your own or with a friend, you can have fun with repeating these tongue twisters faster and faster. And you can award points to each other for getting it right. Now, you can find more tongue twisters in my other video on tongue twisters, which I've put the uh, link to above. Now you can add more interest to this game by getting your students to create their own tongue twisters, which is my number three game, creating tongue twisters. Start by writing the following things on the board. Write your first name. What did he or she do? Where? When? And why? Because. Now you get your students into teams and hand out a sheet of paper to each team. The first student writes down point one. What is his or her name? Then he hands the sheet of paper to the second student, who answers point two. And then they hand it to the third student for point three and so on. So when five people have written on the paper, one reads it out and it could read something like this. Pablo put a picture in his pocket in Paris on a perfect day because it was pretty. Oh dear, that didn't seem to go down very well with that child, did it? <laughs> Then, like with the tongue twisters game, make their tongue twister into a team game like the last one. Oh, before I go on to the next pronunciation game, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos or lessons. You can do it now if you like. I can wait. And if you would like to have me help you as your personal language coach or teaching coach, just email me on the email address below, deirdre at palmtreeteaching.com. I'd love to hear from you and boost your learning. My fourth pronunciation game is called Stations. Now, before your students can pronounce words correctly, they have to hear them correctly and recognize the difference in the sounds. This game is perfect for this. It tests how well your students hear what you, the teacher, is saying. So designate each wall in your classroom with a sound, depending on what you're teaching, of course. So for example, if you're teaching fricatives, you could label one wall s, as in c, another wall z, as in zoo, another sh, as in ship, and another j, as in measure. Get your students to stand in the middle of the classroom. Then you say a word. Students will have to run to the ball labelled with the sound they think they hear. If they're correct, they're still in the game. If not, they're out! My fifth pronunciation game is a really good one and I've called it But Bet Bat Bit. Now this is a great pronunciation game for practising vowel sounds. Just select a list of 10 one-syllable words that begin and end with the same consonant. Choose a set with the vowel sounds that your students find the most difficult, of course. For example, how about this? But, bet, bat, bit, bought, bait, beat, bite, bot, boat. Or, Cut, caught, cute, cat, kit, cot, cart, coat, kite, coot. Now that was quite difficult even for me to say. So then you write the numbers zero to nine across the board and underneath each number write one of the words. Now comes the fun part. Drill the words with the class until the students can recognise and reproduce the different sounds correctly. Tell the class that you're now going to give them a telephone number. 
But instead of giving numbers, give them the word that represents the number you have written on the board. So, if you wanted to give them the number 078, give them the words that represent these numbers on your list on the board. So in my example, 078 becomes but, bite, bot. Of course, you then need to do some class checking, perhaps in teams if you have a large class. And your students could then go round the class giving each other their telephone numbers using the words in the same way. Now, if you want this as a competition, the winner will be the student who has the most correct telephone numbers in, say, five minutes. Endless possibilities for fun and improvement of their vowel pronunciation. Now, I have lots of other videos on my channel made to support you as English teachers and learners, of course, which you should watch after this video. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this amazing channel and enjoy your English and your English teacher and teaching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.